Before attaching or detaching an implement with a PTO shaft, the tractor must be completely turned off. So before we attach an implement, I'm just going to explain on the back of the tractor the parts we're going to use. This is called the three-point linkage. So these two links are the lower links, and this is the top link, so that makes the three points. As you can see, these lower link arms are already set to the right width, which we can adjust for height. And these adjusters here. And that sits the right width to go onto the implement. We always put the lower linkage on first, so I'll explain it without doing it on the tractor. Before we lift an implement, we're going to lift that hook, that latch out of the way, and that is the ball that it's going to pick up on. So you need to make sure your implement has the balls on the lower link. So the top link on these flannery tractors has already got the ball inside, so the pin will slide through it when we attach that. So the most important part of the daily check is making sure the PTO shaft is in good condition. If it is not, do not operate the machine and speak to your supervisor. So let's look at the condition. So as we can see here, all the plastic is in good condition. It slides in and out freely. There's no damage on the end there. The button works as it should. And there's a chain on this end to attach to the guard when we attach it onto the tractor. And there's a chain on here that holds it on at this end too. So that PTO guard is safe to use. So as you can see, we've now attached the lower links in the right position. They're not fully attached until the latches go over. So we need to make sure that latch is over. And if you come in here, you'll see, and we'll do the same on this side. And we haven't lifted it right up in the air. We've just taken enough of the weight off the machine to make sure the lower links are attached. So now we're going to attach the top link from the tractor onto the implement. So first of all, we need to make sure we've got top link pin. Make sure the pin fits through the hole and it's not loose, it's not too small. We're going to release the top link from here and we're going to see the length. Now as you can see, it's slightly too short. So we're going to wind it out. There we go, let's get our pin. Through there. Clip it on and we will just give this a turn just to tighten it up a little bit, not too tight. And that will clip back over there to stop it unwinding. You want to make sure you've got equal amount showing on each part of the top link. We will now connect the PTO shaft. So the first thing to check is the splines on the inside and it's either going to be six spline or 21. Very simple to see it's six. And then to check on the tractor if it's six or 21 so they should match up. Press the little button because that allows the ball inside to move. Line it up. Again, you've got a bit of movement. So to find it on, there we go. Now that's not attached. So here's your safety part. You can see there's a collar just inside there, which means it's got to slide over the collar like that. And there you go, the little button just clipped back out. So that will now not come off. We're gonna have to lower the PTO guard back down. And the important part is the chain, which is here and the chain will go in a hole or the big connect on the back of the tractor. So this flail mower we're attaching has hydraulic side shift, which means it operates from an SCV. So again, you've got the pair of hoses here and we're gonna plug these into number two. And that means it'll operate from the blue leaf in the cab because it's the blue color on here. And that means this implement can now move from side to side safely. When you put a three-point linkage implement on the back, the important part is raising and lowering the linkage. So this is called the quadrant. So again, we've got fully up there, which shows on that symbol, or fully down there, which drops it to the floor. Once you're happy and you want to engage the PTO on the machine and no one else has stood around it, you simply engage the power takeoff on this tractor by pushing down and flicking it forward. You will then hear it start up and you'll see it running because it comes up on the screen and to turn it off, you simply flick it back like that. One of the questions we get asked a lot is how to run the machine at the correct speed. This does depend on the conditions, if you're flail mowing, whether it's very tall grass, or very short grass. So first is we're gonna look at this screen here. So that's obviously your engine RPM, and down here we'll be able to display your PTO speed. So if you get in and you can't see what you want, you just scroll it along what's called the run pages, so you can see that speed there. You always start PTO implement it what we call tick over. We're going to engage the PTO 
And as you can see on the screen, we've now engaged the 1000 speed PTO. At the moment, the PTO speed is only running at 420, 430. So as we're stationary, we can increase it. And that's now running at 1000 or just over. Now, as soon as you start to move and put some crop or some residue through the flower mower, that will drop. So you will then have to probably adjust the speed a little bit more to make sure it continually runs at 1000 PTO. If you are running your flail at only that speed, it will not cut. To stop a PTO um, machine, we're putting the throttle straight back down and we're turning the PTO off there. And you must make sure, once you turn the tractor off and leave, that the implant on the back is completely stopped. You'll hear it because you'll hear it's still running. There's a lot of momentum that's built up with that machine.